Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Autodesk Fusion and two nice balls. Uh, left one, right one, they are closely assembling, uh, resembling each other, but there's a small difference. This is from a Reddit question about creating a whisker ball. How you manufacture this in the real world, I'm very curious. If somebody has some ideas of it on the video, please put a link to it. Uh, anyway, the one to the right is the easy one. This is a surface sweep with a twist angle trimmed with a sphere. And the left one is the complicated one, the one we're going to make. Uh, what's the difference? Well, if we look at the right one, we can see what if we're closer to what I like to call the equator of a sphere the pipes are closer together and the more we move up to the pole up here they can become further apart very obvious on the last turns up here and we have some dirty geometry here but that's another thing um, this one here we design intent to keep the distance or what i like to call the angular change if you think the angle between where this and this one is in coordination to the center of the sphere is the same the whole way or you can think of it like the distance from here to here to here to here to here, to here is the same the whole way so that is my intent if you have some other ideas how to do this please put a comment down below and link to some other videos how this is possible to do this is my strange way to do it and some things to get out of the way if you're a beginner this video will confuse you do basic tutorial first of all do not start the video like this and the second thing this workflow is quite sensitive it might even fail while i'm doing the design so with that out of the way let's get going we have an empty file we're going to start with some parameters because we're going to use the same dimensions a couple of times so let's use um, use your parameters uh sphere od so this is been a diameter of our sphere let's make it 100 just simple uh this is the center of the pipe we're going to make so this is not the true outer diameter but the true outer diameter is this plus the size of a pipe i will not put the pipe in a parameter because it's only one place in design and uh, we need to turn how many turn turn let's call it count just for the fun of it uh, no units i will only design half of a sphere but the second part of a sphere is symmetric so i will design from the equator up to one pole so the number of counts is for half a sphere let's do it four with these two numbers we're going to use an emboss on the cylinder as a guide surface and i'm going to see how this works out uh, and what i like to do now is calculate how the length of the outer circumference of a cylinder of the emboss pattern uh um boss let's call it extent so this is gonna be our sphere od multiplied by remember large letters in pi multiplied by the number of turn like that and that's the full length of the inbox extent we're gonna make so the intent is to be able to change this number but it's quite sensitive when change numbers change this number sometimes the design will fail but anyway so we got the basic idea let's start sketching and i might make a lot of mistakes because just making this design out of my little head trying to think on a sunday so create sketch start from the front let's do it simple start with a circle od or square od I'm going to do a line from here out to here horizontally now the first things i'm going to do here is just to help me uh, get some points that i can use for uh, uh, the curve i want to emboss so i'm going to do something i don't normally don't do i'm going to do a circular pattern in sketch i do s and start typing circular pattern find the circular pattern with a slightly lighter colored circular pattern that's pattern in sketch this line around our center point the region not full i only want to make this over 90 degrees and fusion makes it downwards so i want to put a minus sign in front uh, the number of points you make here is not that important it's just to drive a spline curve i have done it with five repetitions i found that nice it's going to do okay uh, we might just as well use this i'm going to mark these lines and turn it into i'll let it be like that i'm going to make a line from here straight over i get the circular profile now we need to do revolve later so i need a half circle like down here so i can revolve it creating my uh, little uh, 
sphere later. So we have most information we need here. I'm gonna finish sketch. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do now, we can create a cylinder where we can emboss the pattern going, so S. I'm gonna use a pipe command because I'm lazy. Pipe, select the path, this one here, make it OD. And we have a cylinder that's the same size as the sphere we're designing. Uh, I like to do a tangent plane here. You can skip this, but I, it, my brain functions better when I do it like this. Tangent plane on the front. And on this plane, we're going to create a sketch. And this is going to be our emboss pattern. Let's open up our browser. Hide the body. Only have a third sketch visible. And P for project. And we're going to create in the endpoints of all these lines. These are lines we're going to use like that. Uh, see, we have one, two, three, four, or you say five lines. So we're going to hide the first sketch, create some lines. We now are going to sketch basically parts of a rectangle. Not all of them. You're going to miss one side because that will be created by another rectangular pattern in sketch or pattern in sketch. But these two are going to be equal. The length of these, these for dimension, is going to be our emboss extent. Like that. Oh, it is massive. I like it. Uh, yes, rectangular pattern. Rectangular pattern is sketch. Select the line, this line, what direction. We're going to follow this line along. And of course, the distance was our emboss extent. So we're going to get some lines. Now we make the same amount of lines like we made the, made the lines in the previous circular pattern sketch. So we're going to do these five times. I'm later going to make an emboss. So I don't want the lines in the middle here to be normal lines. I want them to be construction lines. And we're going to hit the line command. It's going to be construction lines. So the first point here is this one here. The second one, we're going to move over to the second line. Make sure we get the perpendicular constraint. Third point, third line over, this point, all the way over here, perpendicular constraint. And the last point we don't need to make because that's the same in the top line here. Now we're going to make a spline. Where? Spline. Select this point. Oh, sorry. Make it a normal line. May avoid making the construction line. And here. And you can see I'm selecting the new endpoints. So this is like the projection of the pipe wrapping around a cylinder. This could be made with the equation driven curve, which we don't have in Fusion. Uh, that's one problem. People are, oh, we can use our equation driven curve. The problem is I do not know the equation for this curve and I don't know how to calculate it. That's why I sometimes prefer to sketch out things. So we're going to do an emboss. We can't emboss this profile here because it will self intersect if you wrap it around because you wrap it multiple turns around the cylinder. So I'm going to hit O for offset on this line. Oh, not all of them. Turn off chain selection. Only this line. Move it slightly downward. I'm moving it downwards. I need to remember the top of the emboss is going to be the correct. So let's just do it minus two for now. I'm going to make this slightly larger number because it's easier to find the profile. We can later change this to a lower number so we avoid uh, self-intersection. Okay, gonna finish sketch. Gonna turn on our body. We're gonna do an emboss uh, sketch profile. We're gonna select our profile we just created, this one here. And the face is gonna be this one here. If you get an overlapping here, you get this, you can see it's close to overlapping. You have to change the width of the offset I made. We're going to change it later. We're going to make OK for now. We have made so much now, so we're going to make a save so don't lose things. And we might edit the sketch. Let's do that for new for user parameters or parameter change parameters. The sketch previous to the emboss. We had minus two. Let's say it's a minus 0 0.5. So make a smaller. We can say we can make, get a much more narrow emboss, so we have more room if we want to make like closer or more turns around. And we're gonna go over to surface, use offset surface, select, you, as I said previous, I was very careful making sure I got this on the top. So I'm gonna select the top face here, I'm gonna hit OK. The solid body has done its work, so right click, remove. 
if you are a beginner and still look watching this video, uh, I'm sorry that I'm confusing you. This is still not a beginner's video. So I have now made this. Uh, now it's an interesting thing because of course I want these to uh, get extended inwards. And here sometimes fusion gets a bit naughty. So I'm going to extend mixer tangent chain is turned off. We should not select anything else, but I like to turn it off. I'm going to select this. And the distance is going to be our sphere OD divided by 2. And you can see it gets all the way into the middle. And we can do that for now. But we're going to get some problems a bit later. So let's see if this works. Sometimes I need to cut away parts from this because the spiral will go all the way into the center. But we're going to do it like this and show you the problem first. Going to hit OK. So we have our body. Turn on our sketch. S on the keyboard, we're going to do a revolve, select this, around this axis, and let's see if we can do an intersection. Hit OK. And we are left with this little spiral. Hide our sketches here. We have a nice spiral, go all the way into the center. And let's see if we can make the pipe feature work. Uh, so not turn off chain selection or we select all of edges. I only want this. And I want to make it 3 millimeters. Hit OK. And I'm going to hide our surface body. And we have made our spiral. In this case, it worked all the way. Uh, we can now, for fun of it, we're going to make a save first of all. Uh, can we change the number of turns? We're going to do this before we start to do the second part of this. Let's see, I want to do 5 turns. And it fails. Why does it fail? Let's have a look at our feature. Uh, we were warning. Uh, would not create a value result. Uh, that's most probably because, so I delete the pipe command, turn on our surface body again. I think this is because this geometry gets a bit naughty. So what I like to do, create a sketch on this here. I'm going to make a circle, uh, something based on a sphere OD divided by five, divided by six for the fun of it. In a sketch, E for extrude, this here distance gonna be, we can do auto diameter. So we are auto diameter, we'll go really straight for everything. New body, nope, we're gonna cut it away from the cylinder here. And now we're gonna do our pipe command and give it a second try. So this might take some trial and error to get this to work correctly. Let's see what fusion figure. Oh, it likes it much more. But slightly because I think the surface is not twisting in on itself. I'm gonna hit OK. Go on. Uh, we can remove that body. Remove so we are. On, oh, sorry. Wrong one. I'm supposed to remove the surface body like that. Let's hide the sketch. And let's see. Can we change our parameter? Let's do it six. Yeah, it works. Sometimes a lower number will fail. Let's see if three works this time. Oh, three, three doesn't work. Uh, 3.5 3.5 works so there are some numbers that will cause 4 doesn't work 5 works I don't know why there is something to going on when you do these type of cuts on the surface and stuff so you need to play around a bit with the parameters with that said we need to create the second part of this solid no, we know the S on the keyboard circular pattern just use the search as we always do circular pattern of body yes this body and this is why I placed this on the tangent uh, plane out here. The sketch and boss means this face here is aligned with this axis here, the green one, the Y axis. We need two bodies. Gonna hit OK. And now we're gonna do a combine of our two bodies. A join, yes please. And we have made our little whisker ball with constant width. As I said, this workflow is sensitive and a bit stupid. Let's see, we can just pump up the number for the fun of it. Yes, we can. You may obviously can see the repetitive pattern. You can now change the size of the, of the circle. We did a cut in the middle. Let's see if we can get a bit further down. This one uh, divided by seven, maybe. Still works. So you can play around a bit here to get the shape you want. So I have hope you found something interesting or stupid in the videos. With that said, take care. See you around and goodbye.